Hello, my name is Simonez and welcome to another Simonez Guide video. Today, I've got your Naxxramas boss guide for Hygen. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to hit like down below and subscribe for more videos. Now, let's get to it. Hygen frequently casts Eruption, which deals massive AoE damage to anyone standing in its effect. However, each cast of Eruption has a safe zone where you can stand to not be damaged. The boss will be constantly moved between the safe zones. Doing good on this boss is all about having good movement. As the boss is dragged around the room, you need to stay behind him and stay in melee range for optimal damage output. Here is a view of the different safe zones from the platform that Hygen starts on. Safe zone 1 is on the right near the entrance, then zone 2, zone 3, and zone 4 on the left near the exit. Here is another view of those same safe zones. They will cycle through starting at zone 1, then 2, 3, 4, back to 3, 2, 1, and repeat. Sometimes the tank will position the boss at the edge of a safe zone, so that if you stand behind the boss, you'll get hit by eruption. You need to know the safe zones yourself, so that you can be sure to not get hit by eruption. Now, let's check out a boss kill video. Here we are just exiting the gauntlet and starting the boss pull. You can see I have a Greater Nature Protection Potion active. This is as a safety. In case I mess up the movement, it'll absorb some of the eruption damage and hopefully keep me alive. There's nothing particularly special about the ability usage or cooldowns that I do on this boss. It's a simple single target boss. I just have to make sure my movement is good and I stay on the boss. As is standard, I activate all my cooldowns at once to gain increased value from stacking them together. Jam Gabar, Adrenaline Rush, and Blade Flurry. And when I refresh my Slice and Dices, I try to refresh it with just a fraction of a second remaining on the previous cast. Here we are in Zone 4, and there was an eruption, so now we're going to move back to Zone 3 as the next safe zone. This is from our very first kill of Hygen, so no one has Nax Ramus gear yet. We all died already, so no one has world buffs either. So we're killing the boss fairly slowly. We're back to zone 2 for the safe zone. That was another eruption, so now we go to zone 1 as the next safe zone. And again, we just continue dealing single target damage to the boss and try to have good positioning. There's a zone 1 eruption, so now we're into zone 2. And now, since we didn't kill the boss yet, he's transitioning to what's called the dance phase. The Hygen goes to the platform, and then he begins casting Eruption much faster, and the whole raid has to dance between the different safe zones. Since the Eruption is cast so quickly, we don't have time to do anything other than move between the safe zones like this. Now we do have just a little more time than we absolutely need. You can see that I stop before each eruption. If I kept moving, I'd run past the safe zone. So back in zone two, then one, then two again, then zone three, and this is the end of the dance phase. Now it goes back to regular. My two minute cooldowns are available again, so I hit those up to try to get more value out of them. Jam Gabar and Blade Flurry as we finish off the boss. And the boss is dead. That's Hygen the Unclean. Now, most guilds will be able to kill him before the dance phase even begins. That's it for Hygen, and remember to hit like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more videos. You can catch me live on Twitch or you can join my Discord. Links to both Twitch and Discord are in the video description below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.